Hey, this is Tom from MNT Exotics. You're watching Fangs TV. We had a request online for uh, to do a green bottle blue uh, sling video, so here it is. Um, basically, what we have here is a baby green bottle blue, and you can see he's just kind of meandering around. A uh, really gorgeous looking spider. They're uh, in very high demand, uh, mostly because of their very vibrant colors. Uh, basically, it'll start off as uh, pink with these little black uh, booties on here and as they grow they're going to uh, get these vibrant blue legs with a green carapace and uh, they have the stripes on their on their abdomen like that which will end up turning into a, a nice deep orange color um, so you see he's just kinda taking his sweet old time here rubbing his butt on the, uh, <laughs> the board there uh, so these uh, are native to South America, um, and overall they're a little skittish, but pretty docile species. Um, they get a little bit grumpier as they get older. Um, the spiderlings really aren't too much to, uh, to worry about, and the nice thing about it is that they're also heavy webbers. So inside of a terrarium, uh, it's a great look. Um, you can see all that nice heavy webbing, plus the beautiful color that they have. Um, you can also set up the tank uh, to be semi-arboreal, which means they can either be land-dwelling or uh, they could be um, tree-dwelling spiders. Um, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll put a, a straight piece of cork bark inside of the terrarium and I'll just put a little platform for them to sit on and that way they can choose to either dwell on the ground or, or not. So um, basically right now we'll just go ahead and show you uh, setting up a little terrarium for this guy. Okay, so what I have here is an acrylic cube. You can find these at any craft store. Um, so, just drilled a few holes in the top here. Um, and we got some cork bark here. Uh, what I did with the cork bark is I just put on a, uh, a cute little leaf just as an accent here. So I'll just push that down in the dirt. That's set in there. And I'm using Eco Earth. I find that to be the best uh, to use. Uh, you want to keep any kind of um, substrate for a spiderling uh, semi uh, moist here just so that they don't desiccate. But they can tolerate some, some fairly dry conditions. Oh, there he goes. Just put our lid gently on top of them here. And as you can see, there he is just resting inside of the terrarium. Um, if you got any questions, just comment below. And uh, thank you for watching this video about the Green Bottle Blue Spiderling.